Have you ever wondered about spoofing mails? Obviously you might have since you are on this video. But have you ever wondered how effortless and easy it can be? What if I say you can just do that in just few lines of code? You can send a spoof mail in few lines of PHP code? Yes, that is possible. Before we proceed any further, this video is for educational purposes only and I'm not responsible or the strange learnings is not responsible for any of your deeds that you do after watching this video. Make sure you don't hurt anyone's sentiments or privacy terms and you are aware of your permissions and consent before you try any of these on any company, organization or person. So now let's proceed further. So this is the few lines of PHP code that is used to spoof a mail. Since PHP is a server side language, it's very simple to send a spoof mail using it. We are using a mail function by passing these parameters that we have defined just above it. And that's all we need to do to send a spoof mail. So let's see how we do it. First of all, you need to understand that if you are using a server side language, you need to host it on any online server. You can use your system as a server by hosting it, but you need to get it to a public domain, not in the local host. Okay. So I'm using the web host services by Hostinger. This is a free service. Obviously, I have all, uh, already created account and I regularly use this. So I'm not creating any another. I'm just showing you how it's done. Okay. I'm not going to show any of the process of creating this. Keeping the point, it's actually very easy. Just get on this site and create a new site. And after that, you have to just do it. Upload the file and run it. And that's all you need to do. Okay, so here is the mail that is going to be used as the victim, which is right here. Okay, and then we have this mail, which is a custom mail, which actually don't exist. And this will be displayed on the screen right here as the sender. Okay, so let's just take, give the time that it takes to open. Okay, so here we are in the file manager and we have to upload the files. Okay, we are in the file manager of our site. We will upload a file and we have to upload it in the public folder. Okay, because we need to access it, right? So for that, we will upload it in public HTML. Okay, and I have already actually have that code right here. If you just get a look inside it, this is the same code that is in this text form. Okay, and that's all I need to do. I just need to save and close. Okay, I have to change the permissions actually to execute. Uh, this is not the default permission. Actually, we need to change it so that it can execute things on our database and server as a hosting site. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to get on the home page and get on the link. Okay, this is something that is displayed because this is not a paid services and web host app is actually not very named service since it's used by free users. So it's used for malicious activities as well. So Chrome wants about it. And if you get to a paid service or if you have your system as the server, then it won't create a problem like that. Now here you see this is not something that we want. Okay because we have not accessed the file that we want to so here we have to do send okay mail.php that is the name of our file and we have to run it and it actually doesn't show anything right here but it's executed you see right here we have got this mail right now this is this is email spoofing and it has got from strange at the rate learnings.com if you have just a closer look, you just see that it has been received from some web host IO site. Okay. Now you can just verify if a mail is like it or not. Usually Gmail um, warns about it that if it's verified or not. In that case, if it's not verified or if it's verified in some scenarios, you can just verify that site is accurate or not. If you have got custom mails like this, this would match this site right here. Okay. 
since you see this is something that doesn't match something right here then it is not trustable site okay so now let's delete this and let's try it once again okay let me just change the mail that we used to send okay we, we will just change strange at the learnings to strange at the rate tech okay we will save and close and now let's refresh this page again okay this is the domain that we are using for our site we will just refresh this nothing happens actually on this page but we will get a site uh, mail right here okay if you see we got just a mail right now and this is a uh, email spoofing and this is from strange at the rate tech if you just can get a closer look yeah it again is different from this one so now this is how you verify that it is a spoof mail or not and now you know how easy it can be to spoof a mail and that's all in this video if you like this video give a thumbs up and make sure to do subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this if you got any question query or topic that you want to get a video on or elaboration on you can do surely comment in the comment box and i will try to have a look at that and if it agrees with the youtube terms and policies and it's under my domain i will surely get to that video thank you for watching and keep supporting